Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build a reading progress bar for your Divi's blog posts. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Right, so the first thing we need to do in order for us to uh, build this reading progress bar, we need to go to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below because we need to download these files. So you want to scroll down until you get to this area here where it says download the free layout. And uh, I've gone ahead and downloaded the files. So if I click here, this will download the file. Okay. Now, next, we're also going to need another file, and uh, this is our pre-made layout, which is from our DV theme builder pack. And again, this can be downloaded here. So let me just show you where all these files are. So if I go now to my downloads folder, this is uh, the one that has all my files. This one is the first one. So when you download these files, they're going to be zipped. So you need to unzip them. So the first unzipped is this one here, the reading progress bar. And then the second one is these files right here. Okay, so let's go ahead now to our site and let's start working on it. Okay, so I'm going to go now to my WordPress uh, website and this is running Divi by the way. So you wanna scroll all the way down here to Divi. Hover over Divi and then click on Theme Builder. So what you wanna do is to come over here to these two arrows. This is the portability, and we need to click here on import to import our file. Okay, so this is the one that we need, the DV reading progress bar template. So I'm just gonna drag this into position here and then import the DV then build a template. Okay, so what we need to do next is to import the other files. So I'm going to be here on the theme builder. So over here, I'm gonna click on these two arrows and then click on the import tab. So again, I'm gonna bring my files and here's my folder. So the one we need is this one here, the default one. So just like I did before, I'm just gonna drag this into position and import into our theme builder. Now, the reason why we are importing these files, by the way, is so that we have a good starting point. So as you can see now, we have our header and footer all set up. Okay, so now that we have this in place, the next step now is to add our footer onto our post template. So now that we have this all set, now, by the way, if this one here is set to global, you need to go ahead and disable it. But um, in this case, uh, it looks like this comes in by default um, without being a global. All right, so what we need to do now is to click here on this pencil icon. This is going to now take us into our builder. And in this builder now, we need to create a brand new section because now we're going to be uh, creating the reading progress bar. Okay, so I am going to hover over here, click on this plus button and add a regular section. And in that section, we're going to add a single column. Now, before we add any modules, let's head over here to our section settings. The first thing we need to do here is to make sure we don't have padding both on the top and the bottom. So make sure you click on the design tab, click here on spacing and just add zero to the top and the bottom. So this is just ensuring that we don't have any padding because this area here is just way too big. All right, so now that we've uh, added this, next I'm going to hit save and then we're going to go into our row settings. So the first thing we're going to do here in the row settings is to add a background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click on this plus button and I'm just gonna paste my color like that. Okay, so if you want to use the exact same color as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I've added my color, the next step now is to go to my design tab. So I'm going to click here on design, click on sizing, and make sure you activate use custom gutter width, and we need to set this to one. Now, the gutter width is the space between the columns, so we want to make sure there's no spaces between the columns. Next, we are going to um, come over here to our width, and by default, it's set at 80%. We want this to be 100%, and also on the maximum width, we want this at 100%. All right, so now that we have this all set, uh, the next step is to head over here to our spacing. And again, we need to make sure our padding is set to zero because we want to get rid of that space inside our row. Okay, so now that we've added this, this is looking great. Let's go ahead now and save. The next stage now is to add a divider into this area here. So as you can see, we can't really see where we are. And that is because everything has a white background. So in order for us to access our row, we're going to come over here, click on our layers tab, 
All right, so the next step now, now that I have my layers open, is to head over to our section that we've just added. So we want to add a new module here. And the module that we're going to add is a divider. So I'm going to search for divider here. I'm going to select it. So now that I have my divider in place, I'm just going to disable this because we don't want to show it. And we're also going to go in now and add our colors for our gradient. So I'm going to click here on background, click on the second tab, and I'm going to click on this plus button. So what we're going to do here is to add our first color for our gradient, and I'm going to paste it in here. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, I'm going to come over here, add my second color. So I'm going to paste it right here like that. So now you can see that uh, we have our progress bar now really taking shape. Now we want to make sure that our gradient direction is set to 90 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add it in there. So that is looking great. Now we need to come, come over here on the design tab. And this is where we need to go to sizing. And we want to make sure our height here is set to 20 pixels. Okay, so we want that to be specific. All right, so now that we have this in place, the next step now is to add our CSS ID. So while we're here, we're going to go to the advanced tab. Okay, so we're going to click here on the advanced tab and then we want to go to CSS ID and classes. And on the CSS ID, we need to add an ID called scroll bar. Okay, so this is very important because we're going to add some CSS code and jQuery later. All right, so now that we have this in place, we need to add a progress bar percentage. Okay, so let's save this. And then we're going to click on this plus button, add a text module and select it. Right, so now that we have our text module, we want to add our text. So I'm just going to override this by going into text mode, delete that. And this is the text that we need to add. So now you can see here we have this reading progress up here. Now let's stylize this text by coming over here to the design tab, clicking on text. And our font here is going to be called Hebo. And here it is. I'm going to select it. Let's go to our font weight. I'm going to set this to bold, uppercase. And I also need to set my text color to white because as you can see, we can't really read it behind this dark background. Okay, so now that's looking much better. Now our size here is going to be 13. And let's head over here to our letter spacing. And I'm going to set this to three. Next, I'm also going to uh, add a line height. And this is going to be one. Next, I'm going to scroll down here to spacing. And I need to add a left padding of 10 pixels. And now let's go to our positioning. So I'm going to click on advanced position. And what I need to set it to here is absolute. And my location is going to be right here in the middle. Okay. Now, before we need to leave this, we also need to add our CSS class. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the top to custom CSS. So I need to come to the top here on CSS ID and classes. And under CSS class, I'm going to add my CSS class like that. Okay. Now that we have all this in place, it's time now to add our jQuery code. Okay. So I'm going to click here on, in fact, you know what? I need to save this first. So I'm going to hover over here, click on this plus button, and I'm going to search for my code module and select it. There we go. So now I have my code module. So what you need to do now is you need to go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. That's the post which has this jQuery code. And then you just want to come over here and paste it just like that. Okay. So with that done, I'm going to save this. And then we're going to go into our section settings of this progress bar. Now let's head over to advanced position. And we are going to choose fixed because we want this position to be fixed. And um, we also need to add our Z index. Currently, it's set to auto. So I'm just going to set this to 999. And now it's above everything. So now we can save this. Next, I need to go to the section that has our header. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. We're going to go to advanced and then also go to position. So here, we want to make sure we have relative as the position and also set our Z index to 999. So pretty much everything is all done. So now I'm going to save this 
close out of my layers, save this one more time, and then close out of here. All right, so that's all the work that we needed to do on our custom header. All right, so now that we've uh, designed our header, we need to go to our custom body now. Okay, so we're going to click this pencil icon and we are going to add a CSS class because we need to target this with some code as well. All right, so what we need to do now is to go into the post content settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on advanced, and then you want to come over here to CSS ID and classes. And under CSS class, you want to make sure ET post constant is added in here. Okay, that's very important. So once you've added that, you want to click on save changes. So making sure everything is all saved. So let's save and exit. Now, what we need to do is again, save one more time just to make sure everything is in place. And we are going to go and create a post if you don't already have a post on your website. So I'm going to open my post in a new page just like that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target this one here. So this is just an existing one. So I'm going to click here on edit to add more content into this so that this progress bar works. All right. So I'm just going to close out of here. And as you can see, I have some text in here. I'm just going to add some more just to make this nice and long. So we're able to see the progress bar. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just adding this um, text in the default editor. So now I think I have enough text in here. So I'm going to hit update. And this is updating my blog post. And now I'm going to open this post in a new tab. All right. So now that it's loading, you can see we have our header. And also this is our design that we created earlier on. So our reading progress here is at 0% because I haven't started scrolling. But notice what happens when I start scrolling. So as I'm scrolling, this percentage now is increasing, increasing, increasing until I get to the bottom. So this is the bottom of my post. And when I start dragging up, it is also decreasing just like that. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.